Hi everyone. Uh, during these strange and, well, yeah, unusual times that I can't remember in my lifetime, I wanted to make sure that you have got all the best advice. Um, obviously, you've been given the correct advice regarding coronavirus if you're following the government um, guidelines. I have one slight concern, though, that there are. I've noticed that there are some similarities between the coronavirus or COVID-19 symptoms and carbon monoxide poisoning and obviously the action you take for the two is very different so i wanted to just make this very short video so you could understand the two and if you hadn't heard of carbon monoxide before and you're spending a lot of time at home you know how to protect yourself from that as well um, i've got the actual i've got a, some notes because i need to get sure make sure this is right so these details are from the nhs website um, and the key here is the symptoms. So COVID-19 symptoms include a dry cough, fever, tiredness, shortness of breath, uh, aches and pains, and a sore throat. Now, although I know the symptoms of carbon monoxide, I'm gonna to refer to the NHS um, symptoms again, just so that we are completely clear. The carbon monoxide symptoms include headaches, um, dizziness, feeling and being sick, shortness of breath, tiredness, confusion and stomach pain. So the feelings of tiredness, shortness of breath, which is obviously a key one for um, coronavirus and carbon monoxide. It's very important that you understand the two. And if you hadn't heard of carbon monoxide, that you know how to protect yourself and your family if you're spending a lot more time, or generally, but certainly in a time when we're gonna be spending a lot more time inside with social distancing and self-isolation, it's really key that we're protected from carbon monoxide as well as the coronavirus. One thing that can suggest that it's carbon monoxide often is, if you ask somebody that was concerned, is if they felt better when they were outside of the property and then the symptoms returned when they came back, which would suggest that the carbon monoxide is contained within the home and obviously oxygen from outside relieves those symptoms. I mean, carbon monoxide, for those of you that don't know, it's a poisonous gas. It's known as the silent killer because it can't be seen, smelt or tasted. It can come from a fuel burning appliance in your home, such as a boiler, a gas hob, open fire, wood burning stove, your water heater. It could even be when the flu on the outside of a boiler on the outside of your house is blocked. So it's really, really important that you understand the difference between coronavirus and carbon monoxide poisoning in terms of the symptoms, because we're gonna be spending a lot more time in our homes and we, it, we really need to know how to protect ourselves from both. The single best way to stay safe is with a carbon monoxide alarm. Carbon monoxide alarms will detect low and high levels of carbon monoxide and alert you accordingly. They have an 80 decibel alarm, so you will really know that there's a problem and you need to do something about it. If the alarm was to go off, ventilate the property, open doors and windows, and seek medical help. If you don't have an alarm, please get one as soon as possible. We're gonna be spending a lot more time on our homes, it seems, in the next weeks and months, so it's really critical that we're safe from this silent killer. Carbon monoxide alarms are readily available in shops such as supermarkets, uh, DIY stores, builders merchants, electrical and plumbing merchants. But I know at the time that we're being cautious about going out or even the supermarkets themselves are quite stressful places to find yourself at the moment. So they are available online, a number of retailers, but when you're searching online, I want you to be aware of only buying the right sort of alarm because unfortunately, like most things, you do find cheaper imports that haven't had the highest testing and standards and I want to make sure you're buying an alarm that's safe. The important thing to look for is that the alarm is certified to the latest European standards. That's BSEN 50291. Now the term certified to is very important. Certified to means that it has been thoroughly tested by a third party, a test house, such as BSI or LPCB. The last thing we want is people to be more panicky and worried but it would be remiss of us not to make sure you're aware of carbon monoxide at a time when we're gonna be in our homes a whole lot more. When you have that alarm, make sure you read the user manual to check you're installing it in the right place. Myself, I mean, I have lots, as you can imagine, they're in my, my daughter's bedrooms. We've got one in the kitchen, we've got one in the living room. I've got about a thousand, you can see here. Um, but this is what I do, I raise awareness for carbon monoxide poisoning. But if you could only maybe have the one and you didn't have the money for more, Put it in a place where you spend a lot of time, um, such as your living room, for example, or where, in the room where the appliance is based. You can, if you choose, to then take it upstairs with you when you went to bed and have it on your bedside table at sort of breathing level. You can actually also then 
take it with you if you were to go to visit um, a family member. Obviously we're not doing that at the moment, but it is a product that is portable. If you have any questions on carbon monoxide, alarms um, themselves, where to install them, the symptoms, what to do if an alarm goes off, please write your comments below and we'll get back to everybody as quick as we can. We don't want to add any extra panic. We've all got a lot to worry about right now, um, but at a time when we're being told to stay in our homes a lot more, self-isolate, distance yourself from people. If you don't know about carbon monoxide, you could be spending a lot more time in a home that is potentially dangerous. So have that carbon monoxide alarm and protect yourself from the silent killer. So there you go, it's only a short video, but we wanted to make sure that you've got all the information you need to protect yourself from carbon monoxide. We're all in the coronavirus boat together. It's a confusing, difficult time. So please take care and stay safe. Thank you.